Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to my tutorial on solving Android SDK problems. In my last tutorial, which if you haven't seen it, look in the upper right-hand corner, definitely check that out, I showed you how to install the Android developer tools. Now, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to solve all of the Android SDK problems that have recently been sent to me. We'll look at how to speed up the emulator, how to solve the problem in which the Android SDK manager can't find packages, We'll solve the Android SDK parse error problems. We'll solve the issue in which the emulator doesn't execute your program, but just simply opens up the emulator. And a couple other different issues, and of course, if I don't bring your issue up, leave them in the comment section below, and I will be sure to help. So we have a lot to do, so let's get into it. Okay, the first thing we're going to cover here, because I've received this question a whole bunch of times, is how to locate the Android SDK Manager. Well, there's a couple different ways to do this. You could just go into Eclipse and click on Window and come down and actually open up the SDK Manager, and you're going to see a whole bunch of errors here, because I on purpose messed this up. Well, maybe not. Okay, so that's up. Oh, there they go. I'm going to show you how to fix that in a second, too. I on purpose caused those errors. If you want to know where your SDK manager is and you are on a Mac, I'm going to show where to look if you're on a PC in a second. You just simply want to search for ADT-Bundle-Mac, and that is going to find it. If, however, you're on a PC, you want to search for a folder named Android-SDKS. And if you search for those both on a Mac and a PC, you will be able to locate your Android SDK. Now to handle the issue in which we saw all of those different errors in relation to peer not being able to be authenticated. Well, let's just go in here inside of Eclipse and go Window and go Android SDK Manager and it's going to start up and show a whole bunch of errors. I will show you how to get rid of them in a couple seconds. And there are all the errors, as you can see, peer not authenticated, blah, 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 blah. Well, let's close that, and all you need to, need to do is go into Android SDK Manager to get rid of that. And this problem also solves the situation in which you don't see all these different packages for downloading. Just going to go into Android SDK Manager, click on Preferences, and then in this guy that opens up on our screen, we're just going to say force HTTPS sources to be fetched using HTTP. And then hit close. Now, if we close that and then once again go in and open up the SDK manager, you're going to see that everything opens up just perfectly fine without any errors. And if you're having a hard time following all of this different information, I also provide this all in text format. There's a link to all this stuff underneath the video. So now let's get back into our next problem. A lot of times whenever you are trying to actually run a program, whenever you click on run and to run a program, you click this guy up here. Well, what you're going to want to do instead to make sure that your actual program runs is come down to where it says run configurations and click on that. Now inside of this guy, you want to make sure that you have launch selected here with this radio button and you also want main activity for your program to be selected right there and if you do that whenever you hit run down here in the bottom of the screen you can guarantee that your emulator is going to actually run your program and not just simply open up the emulator and another thing you're going to want to make sure that you do right here whenever this is selected this is going to allow you to run this on your android devices if you want to instead run it on an emulator you want to make sure that this radio button right here is selected and then we'll hit run and you're going to see down here it says launching a new emulator with virtual device my emul which i'm going to show you what that is in a second and with all of the show you in regards to running your emulator you're actually going to see that the emulator is going to open up now in about 30 seconds Sorry it was slow before, I normally check all my apps on an Android device, and I don't use the emulator very often. But as far as I know, what I'm going to show you here in a minute is the quickest way to make your emulator run really, really fast. And there it is. And yes, that took about 30 seconds. So there's our Hello World application running inside of that. So now I'm going to show you how to speed up the emulator really dramatically. What you're going to want to do, again inside of Eclipse, is go Window, and come down here and go Android SDK Manager. And this guy right here is going to open up for you. And the package you specifically want to download is right here where it says Intel x86 Atom System Image. And you can see I already have that installed. You're also going to want to come down and install this. Same exact thing, except it's under Android 2.3.2. And I left this uninstalled just so I could show you how it's going to work. So we're going to select this guy, come down here and click on Install One Package. And then you're going to want to come over here and select that. 
Come down here and hit accept license. Come back up again, select this, come back down again, and hit accept license. Then after you do, click install. And there we go, now it's all installed. And that's gonna pretty dramatically speed up everything. Now if you're on a Mac, or if you're on a PC, there's a couple other things you could do. You could go here to software.intel.com, E-N-U-S articles, Intel Hardware Acceleration Execution Manager. I have a link, of course, available in the article underneath the video. And whenever you come here, what this is gonna allow you to do, now this acceleration does not seem to work for Windows 8. It's only gonna work for Windows 7, Windows Vista, and Windows XP. This is just the way it is, it's not my fault. Now if you wanna manually install the guy that I just showed you how to install using Windows, you can click on this, but that normally is not needed. However, if you are on a Mac, you are definitely going to want to go to this page and get this hot fix. And it's just a DMG file, you're gonna download it and execute it, and it's going to fix everything and make your emulator run super, super fast. And then again, if you're on a Mac and you wanna make sure that everything was properly installed, you just wanna go and actually open up your terminal. And this is the terminal down here, this guy, if you've never, never seen that before. And inside of your terminal, you're gonna to wanna to type command, K-E-X-T, S-T-A-T, -T, stat, put a little OR symbol, grep, and intel, and hit execute. And whenever you do, you're going to see something to this effect where it says com.intel.kext. And that's gonna show you that that was all properly installed. And there you can see as well, that is the emulator that's gonna speed up everything quite dramatically. So that's how to speed up your emulators. Now, how exactly would we go about connecting an Android device so that you can actually run everything on your device really, really quick? Well, if you're a Windows user, you're going to actually have to install a USB driver for your specific Android device. And all of those are available at developer.android.com, tools, extras, oem-usb.html. Again, the link is available in the article that's underneath the video. Then, after you do that, Mac users, you don't have to install any drivers. Now, if you are running a device that is using Android 3.2, you're then going to be able to get into the development part for your device by going Settings, Applications, Development. If you're on Android 4.0 and newer, other than 4.2, you're going to want to go to Settings, Developer Options. And if you're on an Android device that's running 4.2 and newer, things are a little bit different because the developer options are actually hidden for some odd reason. In that situation, you're gonna to wanna to go to settings like this, and then come down here and click on about tablet. The about tablet screen's gonna open. You're gonna to wanna to go down to build number, and you're gonna to wanna to click on this with your finger seven times. And whenever you do that, this guy's gonna open up developer options and a whole bunch of other things. And from that moment on, once you have your device connected using a USB plug in your computer, to run applications, you just wanna check USB debugging. Just put a check inside of there, and of course, connect your device, and automatically everything is going to run on your device. If you do, what I'm gonna show you next. Now, if you wanna run these devices here, what you're gonna to wanna to do, one thing that I forgot, which I'm gonna cover right now, is what exactly you'd wanna do with your emulator to make sure that it runs really, really fast. And I'm gonna show you that here just because I forgot it, and then I'll jump back into running your device. Either way, it's very, very simple. You're gonna to wanna to go in here, create a new device, and this works great for me using the Intel acceleration software. So I have it set up as Nexus 7, Android 4.2.2, and then this is very, very important, the most important thing actually. On CPU, you wanna make sure that you have Intel Atom x86 selected here, and also kind of equally important, you're also gonna to have to have a check down here inside of use host GPU. That is gonna make your emulator run super, super, super fast. So that is how to create an emulator that runs really good. Now I'll get back into how to actually execute on your actual Android device. Again, you're gonna come in here, go down to Run Configuration, select it. Then for this guy, you're gonna to wanna to go into Target and then Launch on All Compatible Devices, right there. This is the guy you wanna use when you wanna launch on a device. This is the guy you wanna use whenever you launch on an emulator. So just put a tick inside of there and then hit Run just like you did before. And of course, I can't show you actually running that onto my device, so you're just gonna to have to trust that that works or go and try it yourself. So as far as I know, those are all of the problems that all of you guys have had out there. Of course, if I missed any of them, leave them in the comment section below. I'll be very, very happy to help you along. Till next time.